But most of the story, much like this episode, has been focused on the backlash, the uproar, the disrespect, right? The the shenanigans that that is this day of proclamation and it being on Easter this year. But the main thing to me, the main thing to me that has not been discussed too much, that is getting lost in all of this, is this reminder. This reminder that, yes, the outrage is warranted. Yes, the Democratic Party has a fealty to victimhood. We see it time and time and time again, virtue signaling at the wazoo. But despite all of the government power, despite what the President of the United States says, despite the proclamations that are released, that are issued by the President of the United States, Jesus is overall. God is overall. Jesus, as we celebrate on Easter, overcame death. He is the only religious uh, figure, deity, who is alive. Jesus overcame death. Easter, the reason we celebrate it, will overcome this day of proclamation. The calendars lined up and it caused this huge firestorm. People were outraged and justifiably so. But do not lose sight that much like how Jesus overcame death, his resurrection, Easter and Jesus are also going to and have already over, overcome the shenanigans and the fealty and the decisions that are being made by those in our current government leadership. Not only here in America, but also around the world. So when things like this happen, do not lose sight of the big picture. Despite what the government says or does, proclamations they issue, beliefs that they have, yes, it impacts us, us, impacts us in our daily lives. But remember that Jesus is over all. And Jesus has overcame death for you and me. And Jesus and Easter have already overcome this day of proclamation. Do not lose sight of the strength and the wonder of Jesus Christ. He, we are all children of God. We were all created in his image, male and female. So despite what is said, what someone's truth may be, and despite who it comes from, and the influence or the power that they may have, Remember that Jesus paid it all, and he has already overcome it. Hi, I'm Brian Kletter, the creator and host of CounterThought. For more CounterThought content, watch these two videos and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and spread the word.